Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterbrook501, and today I want to show you guys a glitch that allows you to manually reset the daily and weekly objectives in Marvel's Avengers. There's only three things you can reset with this, but they are all pretty important. So first off, you have the two factions, Shield and the Inhumans, that have all these daily objectives that are actually really important because they not only give XP for the faction, the levels up gives you additional rewards, let you buy more stuff at their faction vendors, but it also gives you Polychoron, which is an incredibly important resource because without being able to reset to dailies, it's completely time locked into how much you can actually earn of this. This is the resource that is used to upgrade your major artifacts you need to max out to be able to get yourself to the max power level of 150. That's pretty important. Then you also have the challenge cards, which for every character in the game have two daily and two weekly objectives. And you can also reset these as well, which is a bit more crazy because you can get actual premium currency and tons of other skins and rewards and stuff that technically no one would be able to get to without doing this at this point in the game because you just want to be able to have enough daily or weekly objectives to complete these battle passes essentially yet. It's actually pretty easy to do this and it can be done on every platform. I am on PC so that's how I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So once you have all of the objectives and you can actually see that I have all of my shield objectives accepted right here. Once you have all of the objectives, all your challenge cards done, whatever you want to do that's done, you are then just going to close the game. You don't actually have to go offline or anything like that. You just close the game, make sure the game is closed. And then what you're going to do, at least on PC, is you're going to go to date and time settings. And on consoles, it's something similar. I know you can just go to a time setting as well or a calendar and change the time. If you're on PC on Windows 10, you set time automatically make sure that's turned off or it won't let you manually change the day and time. Then you're just going to go click change right here. You don't need to worry about changing the time or anything. Just change it to a different date. If you want to change weekly objectives, on the challenge card there, it said it had six days and some amount of hours left on it. You'd have to go six days. So let's just go to the end of the month, let's say. We changed that right there. Now, once I get in game, all the weeklies are going to be reset. All the dailies are going to be reset. You guys will see that. So I'm going to open up the game. Then I'll see you guys when I get in game okay so now we are back in game and we can go check our daily and weeklies and once we go to the shield faction coordinator you can see all of the objectives that i had picked up are now reset they expire in 16 hours again because that's how long they would take to expire before i just up the days didn't do anything with the hours so i can pick up my villain sector you could pick up your new villain sectors and the missions will pop up can pick up all your daily objectives this is still going to reset on its own like it normally would no matter what date you put on it. So say if I go reset my date, so it's the actual date of the day it is, it's still going to reset correctly and give you new daily assignments every day. It's not going to be like you switch to a next date. If the date actually gets to that point, it's not going to be like your objectives are done for that date. It's still going to refresh like it normally would, but you can just infinitely refresh it. You can go up a day past what you are, do your objectives, and then reset set it back to the date that it actually is, all the objectives are going to be reset again. It's not like it's set on a specific date. There's going to be these dailies that you get. And once you do them, you're done for that, like a lot of day. It'll reset correctly every time. Also, craziest part is now we go to challenge cards. I had this weekly done. It said it would refresh in six days. I put it up to the end of the month. So we probably skipped a few weekly refreshes. Now it's refreshing in five days. That objective that I had done for the weekly is refreshed. So now I could do all of my daily and weeklies for the challenge card. Then I could refresh them again just by going and changing the date. And you can do this with, like I said, both the factions and the challenge cards. That's really the only thing that is going to get reset with this. That's pretty important because that's the two main things in the game that are time locked. The challenge cards are very time locked because it only has two dailies and two weeklies for each character. The faction missions are time locked because that's the main way you get XP with the factions to be able to level them up and that is pretty much the only way you get polychoron which is the currency that lets you upgrade your major artifacts like we went over which is absolutely needed to get to 150 power level so that's incredibly important as well but that's pretty much all you do it's incredibly easy you don't have to go offline you don't have to do anything you literally just close the game change a date reopen the game pick up your dailies and you know you go complete them and that's all you have to do so that's pretty much all i want to go over subscribe if you want to 
see more Marvel's Avengers videos, leave a like. If you liked the video, leave a comment down below what you guys think about this daily and weekly reset. And thanks for watching. Clone is defeated. Well done, Avenger. Mm. Abomination is a lot scarier than I thought. AIM can build giant robots, and I won't bat an eye. But raw power is... intimidating. Not for you, of course.